This quick tip is just going to show how you can bring a canvas into your viewport to use it as a guide when sculpting. So first I'm just going to create a model from the content browser. Use the mail bust. You can always scale these up because the tools work best when they're scaled up to about the size of a cube. So you can delete the material as well and come up to mesh, commands, reset scale, make sure compensate points is enabled. So now we've got a mesh that's scaled at one by one by one. And now I'm going to bring in a an image. So I'm going to switch to the 40 publish paint split view, add a canvas, drag my image onto the canvas, and click match image ratio. You may need to click in here to make sure that refreshes as well. And now we want to display this in the viewport itself. So we come up here to the viewport setting, go display and viewport, just turn its opacity down just a little bit. And we can move it around in the viewport using this tool here, but we can also assign a hotkey to that as well. So if I come up and go right click, customize palettes, and go move, canvas, See, I've already got a hotkey selected. But all you do is just type a key, M, tool override, and go add. And what that will do is that when you switch to the paintbrush standard, you can hold down M and you can move it around with your left mouse button and scale it with your right mouse button. So I'll switch back to the sculpting view. So now we can position our model about where we want it. And now I'm using hold down M and I'm just resizing this up to roughly about the size about there. Now I'm going to go to the object tab, select my model, select the grab tool and now we can just move this around to get it roughly where we want it. So you know you can get the, the base shape of your model kind of how you might want it. Move things in a bit. And now if you want to uh, you can want to do symmetrical painting. You could switch over and use the paintbrush. And this one will use the stencils. So this doesn't use a canvas. This uses stencils. And you'd have to bring this in, set it up again. But if you want to just project this image straight on, you can do that all within the paintbrush standard tool here. So this just can come in with the material view. Add a material. And so this one doesn't work with symmetry. But it allows you to project a canvas directly onto your model. So now you can just come in here. Project that straight down. And we're good. So if you have a sculpting tool selected, you can tap W to hide and show that wireframe as well. And we can just get rid of the canvas. So now we've projected that basically basic mesh down onto this model. It's obviously not right, but it just shows the workflow of using a canvas.